Hello, this is Chris at Hanson Hobbies demonstrating our Y harness printed circuit board. Uh, it's a very simple product. It has three sets of solder holes that are connected in line. It can accommodate down to 20 gauge wire. And then on one side of the board, it has two grooves for the outgoing wires, and on the other side, it has a cutout for the incoming wire. Um, and basically, the, the, the cutouts provide you strain relief. And so I have my wire here. Now, this is already stripped and tinned. You don't have to do that, but it will make this quite a bit easier if you tin it. That way you don't have to worry about the, the strands coming apart. You feed it through the hole. You can see on the circuit board, there's markings for where the wires go. You feed it through, and bring it up, and then come down to the closest set of holes, and push it through just like that, and then pull the slack back out. Come with my next set, make sure I have white on white so it keeps the right orientation. Push it through the second set and into the solder holes and then pull the slack back out and then come to the other side of the circuit board. Remember you need white on white through the strain relief hole and into the solder hole. So now I've got all the wires in, I'm ready to go to my solder station and solder them. Okay, now I'm going to solder these wires in place, which is very difficult to do with the camera in front of me. I'm going to do the common wires all at the same time, that way I can keep the heat flowing down. Now whenever you're soldering wires, you want to be quick about it because you don't want to draw, wick a lot of the solder up into the wire. Um, it becomes very fragile and can break if bent. Okay. Clip loose all the excess wire. Now, the last step is to check over my circuit board very carefully to make sure I don't have any shorts. In particular, you want to make sure none of the strands have jumped from one wire to the other when you're putting the wires in, sometimes uh, you can catch a loose strand that will be jumping over. If it looks good, you can take the heat shrink, put it over top, And there's your finished white harness. All of these parts can be bought at HansonHobbies.com.